Hello viewers, welcome to educators.com. This is Venkatram Naganji. In the previous session, we discussed how to create an Android project and how to run it on a virtual device. It's fine, we learned how to create an Android project, but what are the different parts of it and what they are, what kind of files we carry inside the different folders and all. So now let us see that in a illustration. So here we are going to discuss about what are the different types of resources available in our Android project and what are they and what is application manifest file, what it consists of will be discussed here. So the high level hierarchy of your Android project looks like this. The major one will be like app and the next one is Gradle script. So inside your app you will find manifest, Java and resource directory. Again, in three, out of these three directories, there are sub-directories available. Now let us see one by one. So here you'll find inside your manifest folder, you'll find Android manifest.xml file, which is going to describe your application fundamentals, which use your application process, and will discuss in detail in very soon. And this Java folder contains your package name or you can say this is your application ID. So com.educators.myapplication and the activity name as main activity. So usually in the previous session we have modified that package name as com.educators.myapp and your activity name as my activity. So this is going to have your Java code or you say application logic. And there are two more packages for your testing of your project. But here we are going to discuss about the development process. That is where I do take care of about this application development package only. And the next directory is called as resources. RES directory is called as resource directory. This resource directory is having different kind of subfolders like drawables, layout, slip map, and values. So again, this drawable is going to contain your non-coded images or backgrounds or drop graphics other than the launcher icons designed by uh, developers or maybe the designers for your various densities of the devices. And you'll find a layout folder which is going to have your UI layout files, activity underscore main dot XML. So this is going to contain your app UI defaultly comes up with a basic UI element which is like a relative layout when you create your project for the first time. We'll discuss what are the different layout types in the future session. And you'll find another directory inside your resource. So the subdirectory is called as lit map. So this lit map is nothing but your launcher icon. Whatever you see on your home screen about your application only you will see for your WhatsApp, Gmail, Facebook, whatever they are on your home screen. So that will be called as launcher icon. These launcher icons are all going to be placed in your lipmap directory, sub-directory. And at the same level we have values directory. So where I am going to put all of my testing files or style sheets and color related directory will be placed over here. <coughs> This color.xml is going to contain your all the color values or whatever you use will be available here. And dimensions.xml is going to have your how much padding should be there left and means like horizontal and vertical padding will be described. Means with inside your screen how much white space should be there will be decided and usually it will be 16 dB. The next things.xml where we are going to have all of our text so whatever the text you record from so all from your record along with your application name also will come into this things.xml whatever the text you use that must come from this things.xml file only so please be sure so whatever you put any label any content or any phrase that must come from your things.xml file only. And the styles.xml where we define our style like for your UI, so you can create your global style. Like for all the headings, 
you can set your uh, global style with the corresponding colors and uh, whether you want like you should be getting a white color uh, example i'm taking this in a bold white and italic so you can see a stripe or whatever it is you just put it set all your styles of any particular element in your styles.xml file and you can also find menu directory so in older days still 4.3 that used to create a menu directory also defaultly but now it is not creating menu directory defaultly so if you want to create you can add so this directory is going to have all the app menu items inside this menu resource.xml we'll discuss in detail when we come to menu topic and last you'll find a gradient script so android is using so the gradient to compile and build our android application which is coming up with android studio if you are developing with eclipse adp you won't see this gradient script but if you are dealing with i mean if you are developing on the android studio you will see this gradient script it's mostly preparing for our application development and compilation so there is a build that gradient file for each and every module if you upgrade here so build that gradient for project and build that gradient for your module application so like this for everything you'll find a map build that gradient and one for entire project and one for your application module so this build that gradient is for your entire project and the below build that gradient is only for your module application so this is where we have a default configuration settings like your compile sdk target sdk and if there is any support library or the replay service library everything will be declared in this particular build that gradient for app module so now let us see app manifest so application manifest so the high level directory that is manifest directory you find app manifest application manifest.xml file so which is going to have so all of your essential information of your application and all of your building blocks of an application or application component will be defined in this manifest file so every app must have an android manifest.xml so without android manifest.xml so you cannot run or you cannot do anything with any application so to understand easily i say manifest.xml file as in heart of the project means heart of an application so can we live without our heart no the same way here so without android manifest.xml there should not be any project so this will be at the root directory and this is going to have your essential information of the application so i am the java package name and unique identifier for an application and also describes the application components activity services broadcast receivers and content providers the tag will be like activity service for content providers the tag would be provider for broadcast receiver the tag would be receiver and where we are going to declare all of our permission which are required for our application so to interact with other application so let us suppose best example i would like to access one of my friends system or laptop so without his permission i cannot access the same way here so to interact with other application or application may require permission and if you are expecting your application to capture an image so you should have a camera feature also that is called hardware feature support should be there so then also we need a hardware feature and that is called to set your features you can set it here to the manifest.xml file <coughs> it also lists the library that an application must have so some sometimes we need some external libraries also for that you should take the the structure of your manifest file looks like this the root tag would be manifest and the package name com dot educators dot your package and this application will is going to have your all of your application components like activity service broadcast receiver and content provider and apart from that we have users permission like internet permission camera permission or something like that next user feature like hardware camera android dot hardware dot camera feature the support screen also will be there where we declare in our manifest dot xml file so to which screen we should support our application like small screen large screen extra large screen and all and with the different density 
and to support so all the benefits screen should also and should support right to left and left to right the mechanism and everything will be defined in your support screen and users library if you are using any third party library to use that will play that in users library and the receiver to set your broadcast receiver and service to put your dot uh, service inside your manifest.xml file so this is all about your anatomy of android project and the parts of manifest.xml file so thanks for watching educators.com so let's catch up in the next session.